isn't it important to have uh, a thermal mass have a thermal mass dark color to warm in sunlight passively yeah totally <clears throat> So the color of your thermal mass is going to dictate how much energy that thermal mass is going to absorb. And you're absolutely right. If you've got a dark color, it's going to absorb more energy than if you have a light color. But here's the interesting drawback. And there's always trade-offs, if you will, for any of these design decisions. As you use lighter colors, you end up getting more reflectivity. As you use darker colors, that reflectiv reflectivity goes down. And what we noticed is that um, with your thermal mass, you want to use something in the middle. So you want to use something that's going to absorb energy, which is like a rough surface, relatively dark, but not so dark that it's going to absorb all of the light. You're always balancing light and thermal energy in a greenhouse. And so it's best to try and build something, trial it. And if you need to uh, add, make it lighter or make it darker, you can always do so with paint. But generally speaking, yeah, we try and stick slightly more on the darker side, but not going straight to black, if that makes sense. Hey, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, click on the subscribe button below, and I will make sure to keep you up to date with the most recent permaculture information and education.